welcome to bit films and now we are talking about the translate so it may happen that you want to translate something on your website and you want to use the google translate for that yeah that's easy but with laravel you need to have a package for that and here is the cool package which is google translate php it's a very great package and very 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 easy to use what we need to we need to just run this composer command to have this package on our laravel application so here i have a fresh installation of laravel and i will copy it from here and paste it to have google translate php in our laravel application and now you can see the package is installed so how we can use that package which is again very easy because if we go here we need to use something like this we need to create an instance of google translate and then we need to define to which language we are going to translate and it's now time to demonstrate this thing so i will go on web.php file and firstly i will clean up all these things and then i will create an instance so tr is equal to new google translate and let's define language fr for french then i'm going to say return tr that means the instance of google translate and then i want to translate hello world okay so this is very easy and we are now translating hello world into french and if you know french you know what's what will be the result but i don't know french so here is the result of hello world into french which is bonjour de monde so if i have pronounced it incorrectly please correct me on the comment section okay so this is now easy but you can see we firstly need to hard code whenever we are going to translate it is there any good or easy method yeah we can use the facade so we can say google translate and then trans then firstly we need to define what we are going to translate so we are going to translate hello world and hello world into which language so it's in french language and directly we can return this so in that way we don't have to create any instance we don't have to predefine the translated language and that's very easy so once again if i refresh this page it is now converted to french we can let's try with hindi so let's try hindi yeah namaste dunia that's good so hello is namaste world is dunia that's cool but what else this package has this package can also be treated just like this you need to set the source and set the target and then translate that's also you can do and if you want to know what are the different languages or the language code you may like then you need to head over to this documentation of google uh, translate and here you can find the uh, code for each and every language so let's say i want to convert to dutch so nl is the dutch version so like this refresh this page and now however you are going to pronounce it but it's uh, hello world for me cool so this is very handy package you can also configure the http connection for uh, google translate and I think if you like this package just go and hit a star on this repository and if you like this episode give it a thumbs up for this video and write your views about this package is there any other package for translation which is better than this one or is there any good package you want me to review on this channel just comment below and I will create a video tutorial on that. Don't forget to like Bitfumes on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and LinkedIn and we will meet in the next video. Till then, goodbye.